the other test that is really important to do is to check the fuse. We'll start with this one. We see that you know, we do have a fuse uh, in this meter. We can see an indication here when we measure amperage that's going across the fuse for an example. Well, how do I test that fuse? Again, just go to your manual and your manual will tell you to to take one of your leads here. You got to make sure you have the, the probe on it. And you're going to go to ohms. So I'm going to go to ohms and I'm going to touch this right here. So notice that it's 0.929. And we're going to see on this one, which has a bad fuse, we're going to show you what, what it looks like. But the manual is going to say you don't want an OL, which is open lead. So in this case here, we've got a meter with, with a good fuse. All right, so let's go to this one here. I already know that has a bad fuse, which they tend to go quite regularly. So I think it's a very good idea to, before you go out to the job site, just to do a quick check uh, to make sure that your fuse is good. Uh, because I'll show you here in a minute why you would want to do that. So let's do the same thing here. Let's just confirm I've got this meter. I'm going to do the same test. I'm going to go to ohms and I'm going to test it. And it's an OL, right? So, you know, just go to the book and it's going to tell me how to do the test and it's going to say OL is bad. You got a bad fuse, right? All right, so now we've confirmed we've got this meter with a bad fuse. This meter is a good fuse here. 